All right. Welcome back, y'all. This is a special episode of What You Own because I didn't plan this at all, but I'm here with Ashley. She brought up this idea. Well, not even an idea, the concept of light, what is it? light skin privilege. Light skin privilege. And she figured that two lighter people would be able to have a conversation about it. So, um, we were, what were you just saying? You were saying people shouldn't talk about it? Yeah, like. They were people, saying we shouldn't? Yeah, like people feel like as light skinned African Americans, we don't, we shouldn't talk about colorism. Like, we don't experience colorism as bad as dark skinned African Americans. I feel or like just dark true. skinned people of African descent in general. Yeah, I feel like that's true, but I don't feel like we can't talk about it. Yeah, I just feel like, I mean, if I'm your brother, or your sister, I'm supposed to speak on your behalf and advocate for you. And that's the thing. Sometimes they don't want us to speak on their behalf. Like they want us to just be quiet and let them talk, which is okay. Uh huh. But a, it, it's okay. I get it, but it's like, I feel like just people of African descent experience colorism throughout the spectrum and I feel like mm -hmm. our problem shouldn't be silenced just mm -hmm. because we experience at you know a lesser rate no I see what you're saying yeah I think it's <clears throat> like I was telling you a second ago I feel like it it all feeds into each other like <laughs> bro you calling me ha <laughs> I remember we used to roast in middle school the teacher called uh, Durante light bright yes highlighter <laughs> Everything and it kind of just goes like that's cool to do. Like yeah. even with like Drake, you see him, you get all the light skin jokes, and he even talk about like I'm not black enough for the black people. Exactly. I'm not white, so I definitely don't always fit in with them. I'm not gonna pass with them. Exactly. So I think it's it's interesting. I don't know. I'd be over all the like light skin, dark skin jokes stuff for real. I do too, but it's like I just see the dialogue, and it's like basically what you said, um, where we're not black enough. Mm -hmm. Like it's like that spectrum of like we're not black enough, but then we're not white enough. So it's like mm -hmm. where where we be at? Where we at? Like, it's like <laughs> help me out. You don't belong in either. Like group. where I'm supposed to be at? Because it's like I feel like I'm black. Like I, me and Byron have this joke like where mm -hmm. we be like somebody trying to acknowledge that. Like, I'm like no, I'm not, baby. You see this dark, beautiful mm -hmm. black, brown skin, right. me and Gabrielle, you in the same color. Like yeah. I don't want none of that. Like I've denied like my light skin for so long. Mm -hmm. You well, have, who, who is saying this? Is this other black people saying? Oh, you light skin? Or yeah, what? like it's other black people. Like, mm -hmm. like I feel like people like people have told me, oh, you don't go out in the sun because you don't want to get dark. Like baby, I go out in the sun and bask. I'm cold. I'm <laughs> so, what you, so what are you talking about? Like that's crazy. Yeah, like like this one dude. Like he told me like no, you get preferential treatment because you're light skinned Like mm -hmm. you were at work, and I was like, what what makes you think that? And he kept giving me examples of like in the entertainment industry. Like I, yeah. I understand that. But what if we like we got two doctors and they apply to be heart surgeons? Are they gonna be like hmm? No, I feel like go with the light skin one. Uh, I mean, like that J.E. song say, dark nigga, light skin. Thank <laughs> you. you. Thank I you. Think, I think in our circles, like, if you mess around with people in our community, like, yeah, it's going to pop, it's going to come up like, mm -hmm. okay, they have this colorism ingrained in them from, you know, house separation to the field. Like, yeah. it is ingrained in them and in our culture for so long. And even to the point where, like, oh my goodness, I don't know if you've seen, like, a Nollywood show yes. or Bollywood even. Yeah. Like, one watching Hollywood, I see that the, the hair, the weave stuff is like okay, mm -hmm. but like you see people who they skin look weird because they might have bleached you some bleaching product or yeah. something like that, or light makeup. Yeah, yeah. and then your neck dark makes your face light. And then, and then I um I recently posted about this uh this this Netflix show about uh Indian matchmaking, mm -hmm. and she they she used the word fair a lot. Like talking to certain people, oh, he's good, he's fair, he's handsome. Wow. It's like she just dropped it in there, like it's a regular characteristic, like he's wow. smart or something. And I was like, bro, this. At first, I was like, okay, you could say it one time, like, oh, okay, that's his preference. And then another thing is like, nah, because I've seen documentaries about I don't know where exactly, but it's probably one on Netflix about the colorism and separation between South Indian and Indian and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know we know it's real. Um, and then I did say a word preference, like, yeah. I think there's one thing that even myself I'm guilty of. Like, mm -hmm. I had this light skin preference, and I always thought it was because I just wanted people to look like me. Like, I want mm -hmm. my person to look like me. But I, I mean, I guess over time I just realized, you know, maybe it's not just about I want people to look like me. Maybe it's because I don't know. I feel like that's more attractive based off of some somebody else that told me. So, right. what you trying? 
No, I was just sitting up, so I remember you told me to sit up. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go, people. But um, I feel like definitely we get, I feel like we get preferential treatment depending on the person. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like it's necessarily, I don't know, I never felt like I had light skin privilege. Mm-hmm. But I feel like white people are quicker to say, oh, you're a good one if you're light skin than they are with a dark skin that person. That is true. So I think it's mostly that it's like we, we mad at each other that the master treat you like this person better than the other one. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's the same thing and it's like it shouldn't be that way. Exactly. Exactly. That's it's just like I don't want I don't want like my darker skinned brethren <laughs> mm-hmm. to think that I think that I'm better. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Because in all honesty, I think you're better than me. Like you mm. you have the the you know, the blueprint, the prototype. Yeah. Like I got the recessive traits. Thank you. Like, <laughs> so that's 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 all that is, and it's just like I just I just feel like I've I've never perpetuated the stereotypes of a typical light skin yeah. black woman. I so try not like, to too. Yeah, so it's like when people just throw it at me, be like, "Whoa, yeah. bro, that's, like, not, that's me. not me." I don't slick down my baby hairs. No, <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> but you like you like you paying for other people's like perception of you before you they like they putting that on you. It's not like something you live in and walking in. Exactly. So I think that is hard. I feel like. Dang, that's how white people feel sometimes. <laughs> but majority of the time, they they are guilty in a way that they're not familiar with yet. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's different for us actually like knowing how people can make the mistake mm-hmm. and not doing it. Like even like I don't like the whole like the whole oh white skin sensitive, overly sensitive, yeah, like, um, vain, like all that stuff. Yeah, like, bro, I'm like I'm not none of those. Yeah, I'm none, none of those, those things. I'm not I'm not trying to be one of those things. Mm-hmm. Like I don't care about. Like I could like I could do that. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> that's not like. <laughs> I can get the like, big Beijing on my like, beard and all that. I can do that. Get the part. Not the Beijing. But I can no, do all that. So. Yeah. I think I think we need to stop just taking the time out and saying we judge each other and like mm-hmm. just like stop judging each other because you know I use well I'm stupid. I thought the word ops meant like the police like operatives. I did too. Why you gonna teach me something new? Go ahead. It doesn't. It mean like your opposition. Like at least from what I'm picking up, I'm like listening to a whole bunch of songs like. No, I, my ops caught me slipping late at night. It's the your ops, your opposition. Like your opposition. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I feel like the police is my biggest op in America. Right. So, I mean, the term is right when I learned it. At least that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. But our real opposition is not each other. So, let's chill out, man. Please. Go easy on Ashley and myself. You know, it's all love. love. Self love includes all shades. You know, one thing I'm learning too: everything on the spectrum. So. Everything. Exactly. So just because I'm lighter, I'm lighter than her. She's a little bit darker than me. Don't mean anything. Chocolate, you know, you see it. Choc, you know. Okay. That's not that's, that's not lie to ourselves either. <laughs> Can't even get it out talking about chocolate. <laughs> but yeah, so like even I could put a picture up. I'm this color. Mm-hmm. My my grandma's way lighter. Yes. She's you seen her? Yeah. Um, my oldest brother is like between a little, little bit darker than you. He's one of them in between people. Yeah, like the and then, Right. And then my brother is just chocolate, like my mom and my dad. Mm-hmm. I remember I asked my parents if I was adopted at one point. Bruh, see, that's <laughs> the jokes that be going on. Like, people be like, yo, that's your mom's? I be right. like, nah, it's my, it's my maid. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my mom. Like, my mom used to say that all the time. Like, when I was a child, like, I looked like an Asian baby. Like, I was light. Like, mm-hmm. I just looked. I just did not look black. Baby. Yes. So they be like, oh, look at are you babysitting? She's like, no, this is <laughs> my child. Like, the jokes be real. Like, there was, for a long time, like, I really did think I was adopted. Like, I held that. Like, I was too scared to ask. Like, did y'all really adopt me? Bro. Well, that's it, y'all. Oh, yeah. Let's stop hurting each other. Ashley is not adopted. Neither no. am I. My no. parents are both chocolate, dark skin. Yes. We all beautiful. I see what she's saying, but it's like that's like saying white people talking about can't talk about white privilege. I feel like the people who benefited from it should be able to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm so dumb.